Hi guys, today we're making red pepper and tomato salad. Alright, so I'm going to start by rinsing my fruit. I mean, my vegetables. Well, the tomato I think is classified as a fruit. I just say produce. I'm going to start by rinsing my produce. Peppers and the tomatoes. So normally to do my cutting I would use my handy dandy um, chopper but this recipe says just to coarsely chop so I'm gonna somewhat do that just cut these into bite sized pieces and toss into my bowl so this is a recipe from the app eat this much I decided to purchase this purchase a subscription to try and help me um, eat a little bit better I'm not giving myself any crazy restrictions because um, I know what I like I know what I want to eat but I do know that in order to reach some of my health goals and to keep getting good reports from the doctor I have to be mindful of what I'm eating so this is one of the lunches or actually the first lunch that I'm making from that app so let's hope it's good right, up next I'm gonna chop my bell peppers I've had raw bell peppers before, not a fan of them, but I'm hoping in the salad they'll be okay. And I love tomatoes, so hopefully the tomatoes will overpower the peppers. And this is a lot, but I'm following the recipe. The next step is to add the liquid ingredients and seasonings. I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. Four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. a little salt, a little pepper, a lot of pepper, and some oregano. And now it's time to toss. So any kind of salad, I prefer it cold. But I'm a little hungry now, so I'm going to take a bite, but then I'll put this in the refrigerator and come back to it maybe in about 30 minutes. Okay, so the pepper's not so bad. The tomato does have the stronger taste, so I like that. That's good. I think I'll really enjoy it once it's cold. But... This is something I can do. I'll add this to my list of salads for work. Anyway. I'm going to refrigerate this. Finish eating it later. And I'll see you guys in the next video.